Have you ever wondered how the fascinating microorganism known as Volvox, a single-celled algae, reproduces? This intriguing process, unique to the Volvox, is a testament to the diversity of life on our planet. Volvox reproduction occurs through two primary methods, asexual and sexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction is the most common, typically occurring during the spring and summer months. On the other hand, sexual reproduction tends to kickstart towards the end of summer. In asexual reproduction, the process is initiated by special cells located at the posterior end of the colony, known as gonidia or parthenogonidia. These cells are spherical, highly vacuolated, and about 10 times larger than the average vegetative cells. They lack flagella and eye spots, but they do develop numerous pyrenoids within their chloroplast. The nucleus of these cells is suspended in the center and they are usually separated by several vegetative cells. The gonidium begins to divide, forming a daughter colony. This process starts with the gonidium undergoing three longitudinal divisions, resulting in eight cells. These cells arrange themselves in a curved plate, a stage known as the plachea stage. Each of these eight cells then divides longitudinally again, forming 16 cells. These 16 cells then further divide repeatedly, potentially forming up to 60,000 cells. However, this large number of divisions doesn't usually occur, and divisions stop once a fixed number of cells have formed. These cells then undergo inversion, a process where the cells arrange themselves to face the periphery of the colony. Once inversion is complete, the cells secrete a gelatinous cell wall and develop flagella, marking the formation of a daughter colony within each gonidium. Several daughter colonies can develop within a single parent colony, swimming freely in the parent colony's gelatinous matrix. These daughter colonies are then released after the parent colony ruptures or disintegrates. Typically, the parent colony degenerates after the release of the daughter colonies, but in some species like V. africanus and V. carteri, multiple generations of daughter colonies can be found within a single parent colony. To summarize, Volvox reproduction is a complex, multi-step process that can occur both asexually and sexually. This process, particularly asexual reproduction, involves the formation of daughter colonies within a parent colony, followed by their release into the environment. The ability to reproduce in such a way illustrates the remarkable adaptability of these single-celled organisms, allowing them to thrive in various conditions and making them a fascinating subject of study.